Hello, welcome back to my Let's Play Thomcraft 2015 series. So, I want to make some better Tinker's Construct tools to go mining with. I'm nearly out of shards for Thomcraft. I'm nearly out of tin. I need some more material. I'm going to go mine to get some more. And before I do that, I want to improve my tools, specifically my hammer and my excavator. So, my hammer and my excavator are both made out of stone still. I did not improve those, didn't take them to metal. And instead, I'm going to build some cobalt tools. And they won't be fully cobalt, because I didn't have enough cobalt to do that, but they'll be cobalt in the head. And the reason I chose cobalt is because it has the fastest mining speed of any tool. And even though the excavator is more like a shovel, I believe mining speed applies to digging as well. So let's go make these tools. Go on the hammer head pattern, or the hammer pattern. And then the excavator. I used a paper tough rod so I can do the writable trait. Not sure I'll make use of that, but since it was available, might as well do that. So the durability of the stone tools, 1179 for the hammer, 607 for the excavator. Versus 3712, or an effective durability of 4640, and effective durability of 10,700. <clears throat> so they're already leaps and bounds above what they were. So the mining speed is only slightly improved, but I think it will be fine for what we're trying to do. If we want to get more mining speed on here, we can add redstone to the tool. Now the other way we're going to improve the tool's durability is by adding the flux modifier. Now I've used auto repair in the past to repair my tools over time. That is not a good trait to have with a hammer or an excavator. They simply wear out too fast to be useful in this way. They will never be able to fully repair themselves unless you wait a very long time. So instead, we're going to add the flux modifier, which will allow us to use energy instead of durability. To do that, we need to make a couple of hardened flux capacitors. So a flux capacitor is a thermal expansion battery. So first we need to get a couple of leadstone flux capacitors, which require redstone, lead, copper, and sulfur. Get two of those. We're going to add flux to two of our tools. And then we'll get the hardened one, because you have to have a hardened one to add the flux trait. And NEI, you cannot shift click if the items won't stack and flux capacitors don't stack. So let's see here. It should be Invar over here. And I think tin on the bottom. Alright. So there are my hardened flux capacitors. Go back to my tool forge. Get my hammer. And now I have flux on the tool. Same thing with the excavator. I've got flux. So if you open up Materials in You, Volume 2, almost at the very end. Let's see here. Where? Okay, there we go. So flux allows the tool to be charged with redstone flux. It uses energy instead of durability while charged. And the tool still works if it has no energy, but that's when it will use the durability of the tool. So as long as these tools are charged, you will never have to worry about durability. And that's a very good thing. So what we need to do now is make a machine that will let us actually charge the tool. So what we're going to get is an energetic infuser from thermal expansion. All right, move my pipes right there. So, an energetic infuser, let me see here, already gathered the material for it, I think, will allow us to charge objects from thermal expansion, assuming I can spell. All right, oh, begin the crafting table. There we are, a basic 
energetic infuser. Requires a leadstone energy cell frame, redstone transmission coils, which are silver with redstone, redstone reception coils, gold and redstone, and copper gears. There we go. Where's my scanning tool? Where's my thumb of thumb? What do they call that thing? Thermometer. There we go. Alright. So, we need to put this down here. And let's see, I've got a leadstone flux duct already. Alright, there we go. So, the machine is going to charge up, and there's quite a lot of redstone flux that it can store. And these tools require quite a bit of redstone flux to fully charge as well. But it's a very nice system for keeping your tools. So let me go get some coal, because we're definitely going to need some. All right, so once you have a tool in here, it's going to charge it up. And it will sit there and drain the machine. And when it's done, it will go down here. I don't think we have anything set up. I don't want these outputting to any side right now. So that's good. It will take a minute to do that. But then I will have a nice hammer and excavator I can take with me on my mining trip, which will be very useful for me. Now, if I didn't mention it before, one of the other benefits of these tools is that my former stone tools are only able to mine at the iron level. In other words, I can dig up stone and iron and coal, but I can't dig up coal or redstone or gold, things like that. So with a cobalt tool, my mining level is everything. I can mine through obsidian with this, and it will be just fine. Now we might want to upgrade our power system with this because eh, it'll probably catch up eventually, but um, right now it's going to be a little bit slow to do in the beginning. But there we go, a fully charged cobalt hammer. And we'll go ahead and charge the excavator as well. And basically they work just the same except the durability will never be affected so long as you have the tools charged. If you don't have the tools charged, you might need to repair your tool. So auto repair might still be a useful trait, but you know the tools last for quite a long time if they're fully charged and you keep them fully charged with redstone flux. So I'm not too worried about that. I think it's pretty good. So, all right, I'm gonna go off and do some mining and we'll come back and do some more stuff back in a flash. Alright, I'm back from my mining trip, and I would like to make some Thaumium armor from Thaumcraft. We can do some nice enchanting with Thaumium armor with the infusion crafting later on. But first, I'll need to actually make some. So, if we open the Thaumonomicon to the Alchemy tab, you'll see Magical Metallurgy. So, you can do all kinds of things with alchemy in transmuting metals to another and creating magical Thaumcraft metal called thaumium and you can make armor and weapons and tools out of thaumium and they are generally more enchantable with thaumcraft than they are with the vanilla stuff so one thing i'm going to put on my thaumcraft armor eventually is the repair trait which will let it automatically repair in the same way that my tools from tinker's construct repair over time so the first thing we have to do is get some thaumium. And to get that, you throw iron into a crucible with Precantatio. So I've got a few vials of Precantatio Essentia. I've made a little bit off camera. But um, basically, once you unlock that, all you need is to get some Precantatio. I used Netherwort since I've got my farm up and running with Netherwort now. And now we're ready to get some more thaumium. We'll need 24 pieces to get a full set of armor, so I needed 96 Precantatio, or a stack and a half of Netherwort, or 12 files. So I've already got 16, so should be just this much more. There we go, 24. Alright, so now I can go and make my armor, 
and it's just you know the same pattern you see for any armor helmet pattern for the thomium helm leggings chest plate and boots let's scan all those real quick All right, so there we go, some Thaumium armor. They've got about the same durability by default as iron armor, and I think even the same basic protection. Yeah, it looks pretty similar. So as it stands, this armor is not any better than iron armor. In fact, it's a little bit worse because it's hard to repair, harder to make Thaumium than it is to make iron. So I'm not going to wear this armor right now. I'm going to keep my iron armor until I can get the repair trait. Now, once we get the repair trait, this Thaumium armor is going to be much nicer. So... I also wanted you to know that once I unlocked Thaumium, all of the tools on the Artifice tab did become available. So I think I'd like to try to make an Axe of the Stream. So I'm going to go see what we need to make that, see if we can do that. I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got the research for the Axe of the Stream. So in the Thaumonomicon Axe of the Stream, it's an infusion recipe. We need a Thaumium Axe, some water shards, a diamond, and a greatwood log, 16 water, and 8 arbor. Now, based on what I've already done to get my shards, my balance shards, I've already got plenty of water and arbors and a lot of stuff. I've got tons of arbor, so I already had all that in there. So, the first thing we need to do is make a thaumium axe. Had to make a bit more thaumium, but that's fine. Just a regular axe pattern, and I'll scan that real quick. All right, we've got plenty of diamonds, great wood log, and water shards. So let's see here. What was that recipe? Great wood log across from water shard. Great wood across from water shard. And diamond across from water shard. And then thaumium axe in the middle. Instability on this is negligible, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's see, 16 aqua, 8 arbor, diamond water, great wood. Okay. Yep, it all looks good, so let's start the infusion crafting. Uh oh. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I, my water is way too far away from the infusion matrix. It is not finding it. This is going to cause bad things to happen. Alright. That fixed that, but did I destroy things? Looks like I'm okay. Okay, I'm not quite sure exactly how far your items can be, but apparently my matrix, and all the way over there, is too far. So, gonna have to do a bit more research on that to figure out what my range is. Alright, good thing the instability was negligible, or that might have been a bad thing. Alright, so, why did I want this axe of the stream thing? Well. It's a very cool axe, which can do very nice things with trees. How are we on daylight? Eh, probably good enough. So, these oak wood trees that grow in these horrible patterns, and they're really hard to cut down because you've got to go all over the tree. But the axe of the stream fixes that problem. It searches top-down, finding the tree, and it will also break the leaves. So... Use up its durability, but I cut the bottom log, it cuts the farthest one away. So, I can't even see what it's doing right now because it's just cutting. But eventually we will notice, ah, there we go, logs are dropping, 
Yeah, it's, it's even going to the other tree, I think, because they're all connected. But you can see there's a, um, a sapling over there by the door, so I'm definitely getting stuff happening over here. So yeah, these trees are quite annoying to have to chop down because of all the differences in here. Acacia wood trees are like that too, but the axe of the stream makes it really nice to get rid of all the stuff over here. And yeah, you can even see it getting rid of the leaves, the leaves decay. All right. And I can finally clear out these last trees that I planted when I made my first tree farm. Well, not only a tree farm, but just getting rid of the trees. All right. And it makes the leaves decay much, much faster. So I can go pick up all these saplings and make use of them at some point. All right. Yeah. I mean, the leaves would never have disintegrated that fast had we not had the axe of the stream. So two-fold thing. It's very durable. It can cut an entire tree down like that. It can get rid of acacia wood trees and those weird growth oak trees, and it makes the leaves disappear. So the axe of the stream is a very nice tool from Thomcraft. I like it a lot. So I believe we should be able to add repair to that when we're ready to do infusion um, enchanting. So we'll get to that, and I will try to figure out exactly where I need to put my jars so that the infusion matrix can pull from them. Um, I had no problem pulling from this jar of Precantatio, so I know we can go at least this far away, so maybe I'll just make some more pipes, put it down farther. I don't know. We'll see. I'll think about that and get back with you. All right. That's a good wrapping up point. Catch you next time.